This is an advanced guide on how to improve your frames per second in Arma 3. Credit goes to the user on the Steam page, and a link will be provided in the description. This video is only meant to be an alternative towards the guide that this Steam user has made, so let's begin. First, you will want to go to Windows, My Documents, Arma 3, and Arma3.cfg. Edit this file. Now, scroll down and find GPU underscore max frames ahead and detected frames ahead. Next, you will want to edit these values from whatever value they currently are to 1. Now, you will want to press Ctrl F and search for the keyword refresh. You should find something that looks like this. Change the value to 120 and save the document. Editing the document to be read only will make sure that you cannot save over these settings so all these changes that you've done will not revert. Although, any settings that you save in game will not stick on restart. Head over to Arma 3 on your Steam library, right click, select properties, go to launch options. From here, you can throw in any launch option you feel necessary. This is a more advanced option. There will be a link in the description for more launch parameters. This is a less advanced option, so skip ahead if necessary. Open up your Arma 3 launcher, go to parameters, and go to advanced. From here, you will see options such as CPU count, X threads, enable hyper threading, malloc, max memory, and max VRAM. You can edit all of these to your preference, but make sure you do research on your PC's specifications before editing these values. Some specifications may cause harm to your PC if you edit them incorrectly. Now go to the basic section, enable no splash, and skip intro. Remember to remove any command line parameters that will interfere with your advanced section parameters. When Arma 3 is running, go to your task manager, right click the Arma 3 process, and change the priority to high. You will have to do this every time you play Arma. If you own an NVIDIA GPU, go to NVIDIA Control Panel and open up 3D Settings. Go to Program Settings and find or add Arma 3. Now find Multi Display Slash Mixed GPU Acceleration. Turn this setting to Single Display Performance Mode. Now go to Power Management Mode and select Prefer Maximum Performance. Save these settings and exit control panel. As far as CPU overclocking goes, Arma 3 greatly benefits from this. My current CPU is an i7-4790K overclocked to 4.6 GHz water-cooled. Overclocking my CPU to 4.6 gave me a great improvement in my FPS. Arma 3 is a really intensive game for CPU usage, so overclocking is recommended if you have the sufficient hardware such as a water cooler. Although, overclocking can be dangerous, so do your research before messing with your CPU. Now for the in-game settings and tests. As you can see, I'm getting almost 120 frames. This is while recording with NVIDIA Shadowplay, as well as having many programs open in the background. The game seems to be running extremely well. My CPU and GPU performance don't seem to be taking too much of a hit. Now I'll switch my settings to Ultra and see how it performs in Kabbalah. As you can see, on Ultra settings, the FPS tends to hang around 50 to 60. One of the only reasons for this is the draw distance. In changing my draw distance from 3800 to around 1000, I get a huge FPS boost, which ranges from 65 to 80. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask below in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial in making Arma 3 possibly run faster on your PC, and if you did, please like and favorite this video.